standing in my dealer in Niagara Lawton Garden. What do you think I'm buying next? I'll tell you what, it's not in here. You're not gonna wanna miss this one. So we're back at the shop here and real quick before we go inside, what's missing? Billy's truck, open trailer, dump trailer, and closed trailer. The other truck's right there. Notice the decals are off. I was and possibly currently am being stalked. That's a story for another time. But let's get inside, talk about where the hell have I been? So here we are in the shop. This place has been a mess, but I currently have both the plows over there, all the mowers and the blower over there. We'll get to that in a second. And the dually's back here. So the dually, still running great. This thing is a powerhouse, is doing awesome. But the last week or so of cleanups, I notice every once in a great while, I'll be cruising down the road 55, 60, and it'll rev up 100, 150 RPM and drop right back down. And then it'll be perfectly fine for a while, and then it'll do it again. So is the transmission slipping? I don't know, um, but it did sit for two years. So I'm gonna dump the pan, dump the fluid, dump the filter out of it, and put a new filter in it and new fluid and see if that fixes it. If not, we'll go from there. But that's why that's in here. So the grandstand, I got the new engine in it, brand new engine, um, but I turn the key and absolutely nothing happens. Like it shows the hours, hour meter, as soon as I turn the key to on, that goes away and the battery light does not light up. Now I know that it should because if memory serves me correctly, it always did, but just for the hell of it, we have the Xmark Vange, which is the same exact mower. And you turn the key here, it shows the hour meter. You turn the key, that light lights up, which the grandstand doesn't have. But the battery light lights up and then goes out. So that tells me that the grandstand should do the same. So I've checked everything. It's very simple. There's really no wiring to these engines. You have the voltage regulator right here and then you have the solenoid down there you have the two posts the blue one there goes to the key and there's a green one that plugs on the other post i took it off because i was testing it with a power probe i borrowed from spencer um but the green one goes right up to this gauge right here with the hour meter and everything else on it so i tested them uh didn't really tell me anything and then there's a ground wire that goes to the engine that's hooked up power wire goes to the battery uh, so what I did is I took a screwdriver and I crossed the two terminals on the solenoid and the engine tried to crank. So um, that tells me probably 95% chance that solenoid is bad. I just put that one on there because if you guys remember a few weeks back before I decided to buy the engine, I thought the new clutch that I'd put in it over the summer was what was causing my issue where it just wouldn't rev up. And then when you turn, put the clutch on to turn the blades on, the engine would wind down. So what, uh, what I ended up doing was put the old clutch back in it after I rewired it, and it wouldn't even start after that. The solenoid was bad, the original one. So I bought a new one. It's an aftermarket one uh, that I ordered online, and then it started up, but still didn't fix the problem. That's when I ended up buying the new engine. So now I think that aftermarket solenoid just took a crap and was no good. So what I just did was I just ordered a brand new um solenoid online it'll be here thursday but i ordered an oem toro solenoid so i know it's not made by toro but it's the oem one for that engine costs a little bit more money so hopefully it's not some uh, cheap aftermarket one and hopefully that fixes the problem so let's get on to where have i been and uh what am i buying so 
All right, Ben, there's, it's that time of year. There's just really not a lot of stuff to film, so I really haven't been making any videos, but I've had a lot of changes going on in my life, which I'm not gonna get into detail, but some major that have flipped my life upside down and some minor, but in the process of the whole thing, I've been learning a lot about myself and a lot of things I just didn't see and should have seen and just, you know, things about me in general. And uh, I'm not gonna drag on about this, but I've always been the guy where I don't care if I have $20 in my pocket. As long as my family has everything they need, there's food on the table and the bills are paid, I don't care. I just want my family taken care of. So um, it, it's never been about money for me, not with the business, not with anything. I've been very fortunate, very successful, but I, I, I know that kind of sounds arrogant, but it's not. I've really come from nothing and I've really, really struggled to get to where I'm at. So I'm really proud of myself for that. Um, but. I've never really like been too concerned with what what I have. I mean, I, I'm always buying stuff, but it's always for my business. I'm always buying stuff that's going to make me more money. So outside of that, I never really spend other than I constantly blow money on my family, um, which I love to do. So, and I'm not complaining about that at all. But, so I've always wanted something and I've never, I've never gotten it for numerous reasons. So, now I'm just at the point in my life where I need to start living for me. I will always live for my family and I will always provide and take care of my family. That's just who I am. But I'm in a position where I can do this now and it's not gonna take away from my family by doing it. So here's a picture of what I'm gonna be buying come spring. I did not order it yet. I am not committed to it yet, but I have priced it out. I've gone, I've sat on it. Um, I've talked to the dealer about it um, and got pricing, got everything made sure I could afford it. And like I said, it's not taking away from my family or anything, but um, this is what I'm doing come spring. So check this picture out. Now knowing me, some of you might say, man, I thought if it was a bike, it would be a cruiser. And I do like cruisers. I love Harleys, especially like the fat boys and the heritage soft tails, but I'm an adrenaline junkie. And some of you might kind of say, well, you know, you got kids and stuff, just be careful and this and that. I know that, but I'm also a firm believer, firm believer that when the big man upstairs wants you, he's taking you. I don't care what you're doing. I don't care if you run 10 miles a day. I don't care if you never smoke, never drink, never do drugs. I don't care if you do 130 miles an hour down the straightaway on a crotch rocket. I don't care what you're doing. When he wants you, he's taking you. And it's that simple. So yes, I'll be careful on it. Yes, I will try to control my urges to put it up on one wheel and do 120 miles an hour on it um, because I do have kids and I have to think about that. Um, and I would never want to leave my kids without a father because um, I've been down that road too. So um, it's just, I'm just at that point where I need to start living for me and I need to do some stuff for me too. Um, I get so worked up and so involved in my business where that's all I think about is my business or I get so worked up in thinking about, you know, do my kids have everything they need and everything they want while trying to balance not spoiling them at the same time, which... I often do, um, and there, there's times that I shouldn't, but I do anyway. So, I mean, there's a lot that goes into play with that. But like I said, as far as me doing anything for me, I never do unless I'm buying something for the business. Like I said, something that's going to make me more money. That's what I buy. I spend a lot of money on equipment, as you guys know, and you guys have been following me for a long period of time. But I never do anything that's just for me. Um, so I will still, like I said, always take care of my family and do what I need to do um, because that's my job. These kids didn't ask to be here. I brought them here. So that's my job first and foremost. But I need to do some stuff for me too. But uh, that's what I'm going to do. So tell me what you guys think. Any of you guys that own bikes? Um, I know a lot of you that follow me own bikes. Um, and you guys have all different kinds of bikes. I've seen a lot of them. But uh, I'm really excited about this. Um, I've ridden a lot of dirt bikes and stuff growing up, but I've never actually driven a street bike. I've been around them my whole life, but I've never actually driven one. So there's an awesome motorcycle course in my area. It's about 350 bucks. And I have friends that have taken the course in the past. One of my buddies I used to work with when I worked for Armored Trucks, um, he wanted to go buy a bike and his girlfriend really didn't like the idea. So he took her as well. 
and paid for her to go on the course. Um, and she ended up buying a motorcycle before him. By the end of the course, um, she was just so comfortable on it and just so relaxed on it. And it was such an amazing course that, uh, like I said, she ran out and bought a bike before him. So I'm definitely taking that because it'll teach me a lot and I'll learn a lot. Um, so that's the plan and that's coming in spring. Elixir of life. So like I said, a lot of things have changed in my life and uh, I'm not going to get into that because that's not a YouTube thing. But uh, just know that I'm doing good. A lot of you guys have been messaging me like crazy saying, where have you been? Is everything okay? Did you die? This and that? No, no, not by any means. None of that. Um, but we all have things we go through in life and uh, I'm no different. I'm no different than any of you guys. So um, I know this is kind of a boring video, just a bunch of talk, but I wanted to update you guys because I can't just constantly be answering all these messages over and over again. So I figured I'd make a video, update you guys. I wanted to update you guys on the dually. I have a few more things to do with that. I have some exhaust repair I have to do to that. And then, like I said, figure out that transmission issue. Um, I honestly believe it's the fluid in the filter. I wanted to update you guys on the Kawasaki engine, the new one that I put in the Toro grandstand. A lot of you guys have been asking about that. And, uh, and then I've had a bunch of people say, hey, you know, it's wintertime. You usually buy up mowers or get prepared to order a mower from the dealer. So I wanted to update you guys on that. There will be no new mowers. There's a new one that I want. Um, I'm just not going to dive into that yet until I figure out the financial situation with the bike. Um, I have plenty of mowers to get me through another season. So um, my main thing right now is I want this bike. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, but like I said, I'm not committed to that yet. Um, but I have all the details and all I gotta do is make one phone call. Um, I was already pre-approved, so, um, I just gotta, I just gotta make the decision and call them up and say, order me the bike. So we will, uh, we will see what happens next, but, um, I'll try to get some more videos out. I'll try to be a little more frequent with them. I just gotta find things to film. I definitely have tons of maintenance to do on equipment around here. So maybe I'll film a bunch of that. We haven't been really getting any snow. We had a couple light snowfalls, a couple inches nothing plowable so um and i don't salt anymore so other than that you know there's really nothing to do um other than the maintenance on this equipment and stuff so maybe i'll put some videos together like that but i will catch you guys in the next one that's enough talking for this video and uh put down in the comments let me know what you guys think about this whole bike thing i'm super stoked and uh i'm almost a hundred percent guaranteed i'm gonna do it anyway um but just let me know your opinions let me know what you think let me know your experience with bikes and uh I will catch you guys in the next one.